going on, Legion? Holy oh, Jesus, what? Azrael here, like always. That was just kind of a weird effect. Um, yeah, we got some Destiny stuff. Uh, I did end up watching, I think, the majority of the Destiny 2 reveal uh, on twitch.tv slash, uh, uh, excuse me, Bungie. Twitch.tv slash Bungie. Um, I think because I ended up staying up for like 15 hours, I fell asleep towards the end of it. But uh, I got to saw uh, see I got to saw a good I got to see a good chunk of it. Looks pretty good, really exciting. Um, that may be something I invest in, man, and stream myself. Uh, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, it looks really fun. But let's check out the little condensed version. Let's see what they uh, what they could do with a trailer. So let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. It's good. Come on. God damn, it was like Nightwing or something over here. Oh, it's like the opening from the, the live stream. Okay. Right, Cora, if you tell me this is a practical joke, well, it kills me to say it, but I, I would be really impressed. Impressing you, Cade, is the easiest thing I'll do all day. Let's get serious, people. Zavala, this is my serious face. I hate that voice actor. Not Nathan, the other right, guy. Cora, Him. What have you got? I hate that Someone voice actor. Something has sabotaged the Skyline defense systems. And comms have been spotty for the last few hours. Every sensor beyond the wall has gone dark. Hmm. Graphics look great, man. It's just the storm. High cutscenes, they said in this game. A lot of cutscenes. What are the subfeeds telling us? I'm looking forward to it. Nothing. Well, that's good, right? No. I mean nothing. I mean at all. they're not there. Oh, well. There are no satellites. And that's not good. Yeah, that usually means invasion. Didn't you watch Independence Day? Come on. Battle stations. <sighs> Dude. It's just a shit show of a war, man. Everyone with me now. <sighs> Dude, like come on. It just looks like it's gonna be epic. <laughs> He's shooting them ships with that eraser, man. Come on. <laughs> Music's epic as hell hell. Almost wish I would have got the live version of this, because hearing everybody cheer in the background was definitely my favorite part. Hearing everybody just like, oh my god! Like, ah! Like, ah! Like, just, just losing their shit. It was great. It was real fun. I believe the VOD is free to watch, so if you do go to twitch.tv slash Bungie, uh, you can go check out the previous broadcast and uh, watch the whole thing. Which is going to be cool. Yeah, man. When I saw this, I'm like, dude, no way. It, they're, they're trapping the Traveler. They're like, it's going to go around it. Oh, God. How long is this, actually? It's nine minutes? Oh, my God. I didn't realize what I was getting into. <laughs> so this is like the whole opening that we all got to see. I think I missed part of this. Oh, well, we're getting to the whole nine minutes, I guess, guys. I'm liking all the special effects on this man. A very digital feeling, it looks like. Like when the shield comes down, it very much looked like hard light, you know, like a... I don't know, it was just kind of cool. You got the BR over here. Uh, the one trick pony's back. More Red Legion! Show them what Guardians are More Red Legion! Need to find the speaker. Oh damn dude, Captain America coming out to play! Woo! Alright. <laughs> See, they, even when they died, it looked digital. Like, that looks digital as well. Like, almost like a video game, which I'm not kind of a fan of. That's cool. Uh, gets good tension! No. That BR actually reminds me of the, uh, what is it, um, it. Fuel Rod gun from Halo. I've got the plaza. Go with Ikora. Find the speaker. We're on it, Commander. 
I mean, the inside look good. I like the shadows, the light of fixtures. <laughs> Some fucking Downs robot. Hey, look, it's grunts. Oh, did, is it the speaker? Did I call it the traveler? No, the traveler's right there. What the fuck's the speaker? I get. I thought I got it wrong. <laughs> I wonder what that does. Drains their shields, maybe? Maybe? I don't exactly know. Like, these guys are like a combination of like brutes and grunts, it looks like. Yes, I will be comparing it to anything I've ever seen before, which involves Halo. <laughs> it's like some kind of junker gun. I mean... It looks like a typical shooter campaign so far. It really does. More of that hard light digital. Oh god. Ugh. Someone told me you need a ride. Airships. Zavala, picked up that guardian you never oh, showed up about. Some Final Fantasy girl. Cool. Glad she can make an appearance. <laughs> I mean, dude, the cutscenes, the CGI, the special effects is all looking incredible. Do Just kind of waiting for something to happen. Uh,. What? Hello? All right, Guardian. Time to kick them where it hurts. Ah. Oh yeah, they got the that minigun. I even the, the bat. Even, I loved when games. I remember because I'm old enough to remember when games really started introducing the. Um, the background, definitely Halo and Bungie specifically, made it a point to make sure the background had action going on it and was not just some, you know, scenery. You could see the battle in the background. For a console game, that was pretty big back in the day, like 2008. And even before that, even in Halo 1, they did that. It's pretty good. Bungie, Bungie does some good stuff. I mean, Activision, you know, I think when they come together with Bungie, it's just like, it creates something a whole different, like, all kinds of new. This definitely does have a lot of Halo vibes for me. The doors, the hallways, it very much reminds me of a Covenant ship. But it's different enough that it sets it apart. I'm just kind of bringing similarities that I've seen in, in previous games in. And not comparing it in a bad way. Uh, I, I was a big fan of Halo back in the day. I grew up playing it. All of them. So... To see a little bit of Halo in this... You know, look at the Hunter. The, I didn't know Hunters could fly. I'm kidding. No need to get too serious. It's jokes, kind of, sometimes, maybe. It's a pretty sick little minigun there. I'm liking it. Dude, that thing does new damage to that guy. Jesus. Oh, shit. What are those eyes? Like, I'm trying to like see what they look like. I, they're already dead. This guy's OP. Look at them chunks, bro. Chunks done with that ult. Or special. Or whatever it's called. The shield Here. generator should be straight ahead. Oh man, this looks so good. It's like it's all like it's just components and gears and stuff.
What'd they call that guy? Balgroth? Bal Balgraith? Whatever it was? Oh, Jesus. Hello, desktop. Yeah, man. I don't know. It's looking really good. I, I know that the, the, um, the Destiny community can be pretty savage if you fuck with their game. Uh, it, it's jokes. But I think when you have the people... When you compare this game to a game that the developers made before, and you give me shit for that, I, I think you're an idiot. Um, now, if I was like, oh man, you know this really reminds me of? This just has a very Far Cry 4 feel to it. Then you go, bro, I think you need to stop doing reactions for video games. And I would be like, you know what, I think you're right. But, you know, it's a um, Bungie making Halo. I definitely see some Call of Duty vibes in it as far as, um, you know, the grit and uh, not everything being so polished. That was my always downside for a lot of that early Halo stuff was... It was like a computer game. No no texture, no grass. It was just smooth surfaces everywhere you went. Not a fan. Um, I think Bungie, call, uh, uh, Activision coming together and, and making this shows the best of both worlds. It is bits and pieces of Halo worlds and Call of Duty ideas coming together and saying, you know what, let's not just rely on that stuff. Let's just, you know, let's just take the experiences from those games and create something completely new. And I think that's what it is. Even though it has maybe a look or two uh, of what a previous game that these devs might have made before, it definitely does have a very unique, polished feel to it. The first one did. This one so far does. Um, and I'm pretty excited to see it. Uh, I hope it's uh, it's going to go incredible on Twitch. It's going to be insane. So if you ever want to check anything out, if you don't have the ability to, to get the game, to play online, go to twitch.tv. And uh, look at the Destiny 2 section, registry. You click on it, you'll have just thousands of people playing the game. And if you ever want to get any of your uh, <coughs> fix that way, head on Twitch. Uh, the Twitch community welcomes, uh, and I'm talking about not Destiny, but Twitch community in general, as a live streamer myself, we recommend people from everywhere, whether it's Hitbox, YouTube, you know, my free camps. I don't, I don't, I don't discriminate. Any audience... That wants to come check out some stuff over at Twitch live, uh, more than welcome. You don't got the time to go live. There are VODs, uh, video on demand, which is the VOD. You can go and watch the previous broadcast and just skip through. If the guy is just kind of annoying talking too much like this right now, you can just skip part of it and just get to the action. And, uh, you know, you get a lot more personality than something fake and edited on YouTube. So... If you're looking for something awesome, stop over at Twitch. And uh, with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. If you like the video, like the content, you can always like, subscribe, and share. Remember, it's completely up to you. I do appreciate it, though. And I'll check you out on whatever video I'm doing next. Thanks for watching again. Thanks for hanging out. Later, guys.